and all so today i'll be showing you something like how we can open any uh, page in a browser okay basically it's, it will be opening in the chrome browser but we can change it so uh, for example we want to open something called here it is right it's example.com right uh, so we can go in our terminal and we can write like playwright open and uh, let's say google.com okay so this will open the page in the browser and also the inspector will be also opening but uh, I mean earlier we also tried with playwright code chain google.com right so what is the difference here so difference is like when I hit on enter now I will tell you you can see the same thing is happening like earlier also it opened this inspector and then the browser got failed, right but here if you hover over it it is not actually showing you any locator right so it's just the browser you got you just open now you can search it anything but where I mean we are not able to see the locators right but earlier it was showing with when we are using uh, playwright code gene and uh, playwright code gene and then you type the URL right okay so the reason is that this is not in a recording mode so we first have to record it then it will work okay but before that I want to show you something like uh, we can actually we can actually um, I mean directly use this playwright selector to locate an element so let's say we want to uh, locate element or maybe I mean I'm just doing it so let's say this gmail word so I mean I'll try something like uh, okay anchor link equals to gmail right so let's write the xpath a and then text equals to gmail right uh, one second So it's hi highlighting but uh, we need to get text equals to gmail so this one now you can see it's highlighting with this locator whatever we have typed here so we can validate directly from this explorer explore one right and also if I click I mean uh, just if I click on it like explore this become blue right now if I you can, I can directly hover over it and see the locators of any element so it's very uh, easy way to find your locators when you are opening with playwright I mean open and the page although you are getting the same thing with uh, uh, code gen as well but it's something different I mean something different in the sense I mean I don't know I mean uh, it's uh, it's just opening this uh, browser okay I mean uh, quick way to see it so yeah and uh, also we can open the page in webkit for that the command is like playwright wk example.com so let's try that and let me close it let me close it as well so playwright wk and google.com
so as you can see our webkit browser got opened yeah so so this is open in the webkit and here also we can search something or uh, directly we can explore something like what is the URL or something whatever we have done with the Chrome the same thing we can do it here as well okay and let me close it and the next thing we have we have already sh I mean seen it with the pre write code gen so here also it will work the same way okay open can eliminate the mobile and tablet device from pre write device list okay so we can try it as well like it will open in the uh, it will open this wikipedia.org in this iphone mode okay So earlier we opened in uh, uh, with this WK, so that is why it is opening in the uh, on this. I mean this WebKit mode, right? So in the WebKit browser it is opening. So we can actually see the locators like input equals to name. So it is very easy, right? You can directly see it from here. And if I, I mean, just hover uh, want to stop it. I mean, it is not highlighting right now. I mean, it is not showing you the locators so you just have to click on this explore and you can see it like this one right now although you can really on this locator you cannot really on this locator so you have to create your own locator always so that's the best approach i mean uh, we have some tool like selector sub right so that's also you can use it's give you uh, good options to locate the elements okay so next okay we have this emulate screen size and color option so that we can also try and let me close it so if I hit enter so what it is doing it is setting the viewport and color scheme equals to dark so we, we can also set the color scheme okay so we have to pass this flag color dash dash color dash scheme equals to dark and then you have to mention the website so we are mentioning twitter.com so you can see it is opening in the dark mode right and the same thing we can try uh, uh, with i mean i just wanted to check one thing what if I do play right code gen? So basically, the code gen is equal to is, is same, same. I mean, where when we use the code gen, when we need to uh, get our uh, I mean, auto generated code. So, if you want to get auto generated code, then in that time, you should try this one so that we can just uh, automatically you can generate a script and you can reuse that script in your browser. I mean, in your pycharm and you can execute it that's it but in case of open i think it is not capturing your executions yeah now if you like if you click on it you can see it is just capturing so whatever you will be writing here and then if you click on next so i mean i'm not doing it but yeah that's how it is working and this Red code gen, and if you open it with, I mean, if you do it with open one, then you can see now you can see it is not actually capturing your uh, whatever we are doing. So you can click on it, and whatever we are doing, it is not capturing anything, right? So that's the difference. It just, it just, uh, if you wanted to. Uh, just quickly open your browser or sorry if you quickly open your page or your website in browser and then you want to just uh, play with it uh, like locating some elements whatever you can do if whatever you want to do so that you can do it right okay so we got 
some idea about this viewport i mean viewport side you already have seen in some previous videos but this is something new we see color scheme okay and this open difference between open and code generator okay so next thing is like emulate geolocation language at time so this also we can try but i actually didn't get any good risk i mean for now we can try it for example uh, we can just copy it directly and here let's paste it, paste it so let me open it so it should be time zone should be europe rome and the geolocation should be this one and language it hyphen it maps.google.com okay so as you can see it opened the bra uh, map google maps and uh, i mean whatever we have mentioned here like time zone should be europe rome and uh, as you can see the language is different so it is something roman or whatever uh, time zone we have said sorry i mean language is this one it underscore it so i'm not sure what is this language maybe it is italian yeah it should be italian okay so and time zones is uh, europe slash rome and uh, this geolocation should be this one so 48 wow it is okay yeah and once open the page click on the my location button to see the geolocation in the in a uh, geolocation in action so my location right so i don't know where is the my location uh, what is my location Yeah, I think this one. So let me open it once. Uh, one second. So we have set it with so yeah. As you can see, it is the uh, it, it is showing this. I mean, it is great. I think. See. Uh, what it is doing like geolocation we have set with this uh, longitude and latitude right and so at this longitude and latitude what i mean location is that so that we can see directly right so it's correctly locating it so you can see this is the actual uh, thing in the italy rome so when i'm clicking on the my location this is the my location button so it's just showing you this point okay this Colosseum I think this is the Colosseum maybe yeah it looks like so yeah so that's how this uh, comments are working here which, which is very easy to do that so you can just emulate the geolocation and the language and the time zone so using these commands like that's that's time zone that's that's geolocation and that's that's language and then the website so yeah So I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.